I'd like to introduce two of my favorite teaching tools, the pancreas pillow and the diacel. I use these all the time when I'm teaching patients or healthcare professionals about diabetes so they can visualize what's happening in the body. This is your pancreas. It's not this big. Um, it's about the size of two of your fingers. And these represent your beta cells. Now, as you know, when you eat food, it turns into sugar and the sugar levels rise in your bloodstream. The pancreas in response can detect that blood sugars are rising and it releases insulin. Let's go down to the cellular level. Here's a muscle cell. Now this muscle cell wants sugar and there's sugar floating around in the bloodstream. But what does the muscle cell need to use the sugar? It needs insulin. And thank goodness my pancreas just squirted out a lot of insulin. So it binds to the cell, the cell opens up and sugar gets in. And it's utilized by the muscle cell, fancy term, glucose disposal. That's how it's supposed to work. But now look at this. If you turn the pancreas over on the other side, there's only about 20% of the normal amount of beta cells. That's because this pancreas has type 2 diabetes. So let's go over this again. I eat food, it turns into sugar, my blood sugar levels are rising. Now the pancreas is trying to release insulin. It's barely able to squirt out enough. If you look at the cell then, here's the sugar wanting to get into the muscle cell but there's not enough insulin, and when the insulin does bind, the cell doesn't open up, also known as insulin resistance. The end result is that there's too much sugar in the bloodstream, and that's what diabetes is. Too much sugar in the bloodstream because the muscles and other cells resist insulin, and there's not enough insulin floating around. Thank you for watching this demonstration of my favorite teaching tools, the diacel and the pancreas partner.